Hello, welcome to another vlog. Today I'm at Abbasheniog on Anglesey. Now this is uh, the first in my series of obscure Anglesey locations and it's one of those places that people just drive past without even noticing, usually on their way to photograph the lighthouse at Penmon. We're about two miles outside of Beaumaris on the way to Penmon and as you can see there's quite an interesting beach behind me and the river Llaniog runs in across the beach. It's mainly rocky, there's not much sand around, but actually there's quite a lot of interesting features that can make some quite good photographs. Uh, parking is dead easy, uh, literally about 50 metres that way there's a big free car park right on the seafront um, and it's well worth a, a look if you've got some time on Anglesey. Now today I'm going to be having a scout round on the beach, see what I can find uh, in terms of photographic compositions and then I'm going to walk just about a kilometre inland where I'm going to be shooting Castel Abertleniog which is a Norman Mott and Bailey castle completely hidden away in the trees uh, and again well worth a visit. So come along let's see how we get on. Okay for this shot I've got these really interesting rocks in the foreground and that little cascade in the river as it runs down onto the beach. We're right up the top of the beach so the river's creating a leading line right down to the sea which is a long way out. Um, I'm shooting across the Menai Straits and I've got the uh, Carnethai Mountains in the background but unfortunately they're not playing ball at the moment because they're very grey, there's no light on them at all. That said, the clouds above them do have some interesting definition and even though they're not the whole point of this particular shot I'm hopeful they'll make it a little bit interesting. Now I'm going to shoot this at f11 which is giving me a reasonably fast shutter speed. I'm not trying to slow down the water at all because I'm going to be focus stacking this and it's just going to get messy. Although because of the contrast of the uh, what light there is reflecting off the river, um, I'm going to still be bracketing at two stops. I've just been taking some shots of that rock that's all by itself in the middle of the beach and now I'm going to hide behind it to get out of this bloody wind. So as many of you'll know from my previous vlogs, I'm a master at getting down behind a rock and getting out of the wind. Um, so I'm just sat here looking over towards uh, the Great Orm uh, and there's some fabulous light just playing in and out of the mountain uh, peaks over between uh, Penmine Mauer and Llanweiwechen. So uh, I've just been sat here with a long lens on uh, taking a few shots. Um, I don't think there'll be any world beaters, but it's a perfectly pleasant way to spend 10 minutes. So the walk up to the castle from the beach is very easy. It's only about 15 minutes or so, and the footpaths are very well maintained and signed and it's a really nice stroll through these lovely woods. And the nice thing about this locality is it's really off the beaten track. An awful lot of trippers have no idea it exists, so you very often get the place to yourself even in high summer. One important tip though when you're walking up to the castle, when you get to this fork in the path, there isn't a signpost, so it's important you take this boardwalk to the right-hand side to get up to the castle, because if you follow the path up to the left, you'll end up back in the village of Klangoid.
so this is Castell Abathleniog. Um, we're about half a mile inland from the sea. You probably can't see over my shoulder, but the views across to Llandidno, the Great Orm, uh, are quite panoramic. And I'm willing to bet that when this castle was functioning, uh, they probably kept those trees out of the way so they could see what was coming. It was built in the 11th century around 1088, 1090 apparently, starting life as a standard Norman Mott and Bailey castle and then was subsequently fortified. It's only a couple of miles from Beaumaris, but of course uh, the Earl of Chester's little castle couldn't compete, so when Edward I pitched up he needed to build something more substantial. This would have been a really useful position though for the Normans because it is actually uh, one of the highest points around this corner of the island. The conditions aren't brilliant, it's a typical grey windy day here, so I'm not super hopeful of getting any decent photographs, uh, but it's been very useful as a recce anyway. But I do have one photograph in mind, and that's going to be for the uh, Facebook group that you've probably heard me mention previously, Landscape Photography on YouTube UK. I walked up the Watkin Path a couple of weeks ago in an attempt to get a photograph of a derelict, which is this month's challenge. Fabulous walk, lovely conditions, terrible photography. It's really difficult to isolate stone buildings that are backed by the same stone in terms of a photograph. But I do have a photograph here, which is the tower in that far corner just over there. So I'm gonna take a walk around, and if I find any shots, I'll talk you through them. But first of all, let me show you what I have in mind for this derelict challenge. Now I probably won't shoot as wide as this because I don't really want that dark ivy covered tree on the um, right hand side of the frame but what I am hoping to get is this leading line running up to that turret uh, and also those buttresses on the outside of the wall as well because I think they're quite interesting. So I'm going to get my uh, main camera set up now and we'll see if we can get something decent. So I'm reasonably happy with my composition here. I was a bit worried about camera shake because we're so high up and there's quite a sharp wind today. So I've upped my ISO to 400, it's given me a, a 200th shutter speed. Uh, I am doing my usual two-stop bracket, uh, but I actually don't think I'm gonna need that. And one of the ways I've compensated for the sky being so dull is to fill the frame with those uh, bare tree branches in the background because uh, without the leaves they, they do look quite interesting as a backdrop. Um, I should say that in the summer with it all in leaf it, it might be a little bit dull. So anyway, we'll see what comes out of it. Well, that's about it for today. It's been an absolutely fabulous couple of hours. I got lucky with the light, the sun came out, although it's pretty grim now. And I'd strongly recommend this for landscape photographers because there's an awful lot of interest. It is a bit off the beaten track, but well worth making the effort to come here, especially if you're going to shoot Penmon Lighthouse. You can just pop in on your way to or from. So that's it for this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do subscribe for more of these uh, obscure Anglesey and North Wales locations. And thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.